kwenye hichi kipindi tunaendelea na soft examples kipindi kilichopita tuishia soft example namba 3 hapa tunaendelea namba 4 so kwenye hii soft example unaona a box of mass 5 kg at rest on a wooden floor at rest on a wooden floor if coefficient of static friction between the box and the floor is 0.6 What is the minimum external forces required to set the box sliding? So to make our mass, we so sana five kilogram. Na to mambiwa, box require me rest kwenye wooden floor by coefficient ya ke mu s ni sana 0.6. What is the minimum external force required to set the box sliding? Ilo swali ni ize tu, malaki tuna block on the uh, on the wooden floor block atakuwa hivi tutakuwa na mg tutakuwa na normal reaction r tutakuwa na force ana hivi tutakuwa na hivi tutakuwa na static friction of force ana hivi tutakuwa na hivi fs so for the block to start moving the force f must exceed the static frictional force so tutasema kwamba static frictional force fs will be equal to mu static r which is equal to mu static mg so that is equal to 0.6 times 5 times 10 is equal to 30 newton so for the block to start moving for the block to start moving the minimum the minimum in the in the note it is mistakenly written the maximum so you you just correct that that is the minimum force the minimum out na sema the force of out the force which is slightly which is slightly slightly greater than 30 newton will set the box slide ko inatakiwa force izidi kidogo tunayo 30 sababu so, kwa 30 exactly maana yake box itaweza slide like izidi kidogo tu 30 box ita slide kwa ubora sana hapo lakini from there tuna hilo swala tano 0.5 kg object is given an initial velocity of 3 meter per second after which it slides a distance of 8 meter across a level flow what is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the object and the flow so unaweza kaona hapo in this phenomena we are given mass of the object mass is equal to 0.5 kg then is given initial velocity u is equal to 3 meter per second so you may slide distance here 8 meter distance s is equal to 8 meter and then finally it will slide hizo manake menda kwenye rest v will be equal to 0 meter per second what is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the object and the flow now let's say this is my object and it rests on the horizontal flow so it is given the initial velocity 3 meter per second it slides and finally it reaches to rest after moving 8 meters so hapa imefika kwenye v is equal to 0 meter per second m mm. tunacho kusema ni kwamba tulivoipa hii maana yake kuna force ilikuwa tumetumia f lakini the body was moving kuliko kuna kinetic friction fk which is pulling it backward ndio maana ikwambia hata kitu kiwa na move nacho au ya apply brakes lakini kama external force ya ku keep ki move itaondolewa hichi kitu kitarudi kwenye rest so you need to understand one thing about net force ambayo inakuwa sawa na f kumenaz fk 
Now in this case, the force applied, it was just applied once. So finally, uh, net force, net force, this is equation one, is equal to mass times acceleration. So mass times acceleration will be equal to F minus FK. What's up when you case, kitu kilipewa tu velocity. That means kulikuwa no external force na endelea kukivuta. No external force na endelea kukivuta kwenda huko. So this force will be equal to zero. Mass times acceleration will be equal to negative FK. Now, kwanza tumepewa, tumepewa U, V pamoja na S. Na mass object tumepewa. It is required a coefficient of kinetic friction from here. So that is to say Fk is equal to mu k r, which is equal to mu k mg. Mass times acceleration would be equal to negative mu k then mg. So m and m will cancel acceleration will be equal to negative mu k then g. Solving for mu k, it will be equal to negative acceleration divided by g. Now from there, let's call this equation 3. From there, ni kwamba, tumepewa kule u, tumepewa u, then s pamoja na v. Minta tumia from Newton's third equation of motion. From Newton's third equation of motion. Manaki hapa niwe kukonect vitu kwamba na itaji ni juu acceleration. Gravity is known. How do I know acceleration? I'm given velocities and distance. So it will be V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. Zero square is equal to 3 square plus 2 acceleration distance in nani. So it will get a negative 9 is equal to birima nani ni kumina sita acceleration. Acceleration will be equal to negative 9 ganya wa kumina sita. So negative 9 ganya wa kumina sita hapo. Acceleration 9 divided by 16 we get 0.56 0.56 This is negative meter per second square. The reason why it is negative it is because hii body likuwe natoka kwenye kwenye motion flani inarudi kwenye resti natoka kwenye motion inarudi kuja kwenye kwenye rest. So from there tukija kuingiza hapo tutakuja kupata eh, mu k is equal to 0.56 negative divided by simply this negative and the negative in acceleration will cancel. So positive divided by 10 mu k will be equal to 0.056 that will be the coefficient of kinetic Friction, that will be the coefficient of kinetic friction. So finally, we'll come to answer which is this one. Which is this one. So, yeah, kusabu nita kupa notes, uta ona step by step tumfanyagi. Lakin, suwala sita, a two kilogram brick is at rest on a table. Two kilogram brick is at rest on a table. If it requires a force of eight newton to set the brick sliding, then, a one kilogram mass is placed on top of the brick. What force will be required to start it sliding? Kwa hiyo, hapa mina sema tuna case mbili. Case one, tuliko tuna two kilogram brick imerest on a table. So here we have two kilogram. Let's take call M1G, then normal reaction R1. So a force of 80 newton, is required to keep the object moving. That means to overcome the static friction Fs. You see, so 8 Newton in a required to overcome the static friction Fs. That is to say, Fs was equal to 8 Newton. So Fs is equal to mu static R, where R is equal to mg so fs takwasa na mu static mg that is to say 8 ni sawasa na mu static mg 
ni ustati kitakuwa sana 8 ganya kwa mass ambayo ni 2 kg times 10 so tutapata ni 8 divided by 20 ambayo itakuwa ni 0.4 so the coefficient of static friction is equal to 0.4 kwa hiyo simply ni kwamba when the block uh, start moving this force will be equal to static friction when the block starts moving now tumetafuta hii kwa nini kwa sababu in, in our second case in case 2 uh, tumeambia kwamba mass of 1 kg that means tuko na 2 kg hapa then mass ya 1 kg wameongezwa pale so total mass huyo hapa ni m1 huyo hapa ni m2 total mass in 3 kg tukiangalia mg takao hivi tutakao tuna m1 plus m2 uh, then g na huku juu tutakao na normal reaction it is called is r2 you see so from there a certain force will be required which is greater than the first one static friction in the fs so the force required to keep the object moving again force f will be equal to static friction fs which is equal to mu static r2 but in this case r2 atakuwa sawa sana m1 plus m2 g so force yana anayetakiwa keep the object sliding atakuwa sana mu static m1 plus m2 g mu static tumeshapata ni 0.4 so simply that is to say 0.4 times m1 plus m2 ni mbili nimesha moja tatu times g which is 10 so it will be 4 then we will require 12 newton 12 newton so 12 newton will be required to start keeping the object sliding and because again i will give you the notes you will see step by step how to solve this but the final answer is 12 newton so let us end up here in the next session we will be discussing about the advantage and disadvantage of friction also the ways for the reduction of friction and the ways for increasing friction thank you and later we should nice studies